Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll look at a new feature in TPC Desktop 2015, Release 2, which we released in September of 2015. And in this uh, new feature, we can store point codes in point attributes as opposed to point descriptions. Now, I've loaded the sample survey that we ship with Traverse PC called Learn Point Codes, and I've saved it as Learn Point Codes Descriptions. And I just want to open up the points manager and you can see that our codes, TFC, EAC, uh, curb stop, SW, etc., are stored in the description. And Traverse PC uh, says the first word in the description can be a code and any additional codes that you include with a delimiter. Uh, TDS uses the two dashes, other uh, software uses different uh, combinations of characters but all those are stored in the description. So when I tell Traverse PC that I want to open up the point codes, I can tell Traverse PC to come in and look for or update the codes uh, using the description. So I'm just gonna drag this over here so I can tell it, look for the first word or whatever delimiter I'm using and look in the descriptions. So Traverse PC looked through the survey and it found those uh, codes that I used out in the field. And, and I could have existing codes and add new codes. I could tell Traverse PC to come up with all the codes right here. Or um, I can have predefined code tables that I use with all these other columns filled in. But I want you to see then that Traverse PC looked in the description and found those codes. So when I want to sort these into traverses now, I can sort these into traverses by code. Again, let's drag this over. And I can tell Traverse PC that I want to look in the descriptions and I'm going to turn all of these into traverses. And I now have a whole bunch of these point code traverses uh, based on the codes in the survey. Now, I want to switch over here and use a different survey. Let's go ahead and open surveys. And this is the same data, but with the codes in the point attributes instead of the point descriptions. So let's come back to our points. And instead of displaying descriptions, let's display point attributes. So I'm going to replace that D for description with an A for attributes. Now, you may find your um, codes in the point attributes because that's what you uh, imported from your data collector. So if your data collector says, I'm going to store these point codes in the point attributes, that's fine. Uh, Traverse PC can handle that. Uh, the codes come across in attributes in Land XML files. So if I've imported this data via Land XML, I need to look in the attributes to find those codes. Now notice that the codes are the same. I mean, I've still got TFC, EAC, SW, etc. Uh, so it's the same information, just stored in a little bit different location. So now let's come into our, uh, our point codes then, and uh, let's tell Traverse PC to do the same thing. First, I want to update the codes, but this time, instead of looking in descriptions, I'm going to look in attributes. Now I can look both places, so I can pull codes out of both. I'm just going to choose attributes. Let's choose OK. And here are the same codes using the same rules for uh, defining a code. The first word in the description or any additional words that are delimited by our special characters. And again, just like I did earlier, I can now sort these into traverses by code, but this time it's all set to look in attributes instead of the descriptions. I can choose OK, and I'll have the same traverses established via those codes. So with TPC Desktop 2015 Agile Release 2, I can work with point codes either in the point descriptions or the point attributes, depending on uh, how I got that information, either from a particular data collector or from another file format like Land XML.